We had uh, done work two or three years before uh, this project uh, got underway. We'd looked at another couple of alternative sites for Auckland Airport and we'd been involved in uh, some of the uh, changes in terms of the master planning of the quadrant zone. So um, looking at how to realign the street itself um, and how to really form a precinct um, over time with this area. There's two very different aspects to the brief uh, involved in this. So the first one was for uh, an efficient office space. The airport themselves knew that the building that they were wanting to build was going to set a benchmark for the type of office development that they could see out here and that they were only going to form part of the tenancy of the entire building. They weren't looking to establish uh, a big glitzy uh, bright light Auckland Airport bannered building. Um, they are much more subtle about just wanting to be uh, a tenant in a building, um, giving away the brand to the building to another tenant. So um, a key part of this building was coming up with a formula that was going to provide a very efficient 1,000 square metre floor plate. The other side of it was um, we, we spent a lot of time working uh, with Judy Nicholl with their HR department and with a lot of the staff really understanding how the airport themselves worked. So um, I suppose a key part of our role was helping them develop the brief. Um, in terms of writing exactly the type of environment that they wanted for themselves. The other part which was crucial to that was really understanding how each of the core teams um, within Auckland Airport themselves interact, work together um, and I suppose understanding where the real benefit to how those organisations could overlap. There was a key aspect to this project which was very different to the way that we would normally tackle a building. Um, one of the key features is uh, this building um, by and large was driven from the inside out so we gave our interiors team um, almost free reign so we had the ability to push and pull the exterior envelope to ensure that the internal aspect really drove the way that this building works. So the reflection of how the building looks on the outside is a fundamental um, result of the briefing process and the design we went through, establishing how those teams interact, the type of meeting spaces they needed, the type of social interaction that they were wanting, um, essentially really growing the organisation and allowing the building to help with that process. Certainly the time when I feel proud to have been involved in the project is really when we come back into the organisation and uh, you become aware of how the Auckland Airport staff have taken over ownership of the building and it's their building and they're proud of it. So for us to turn around and say well actually the key thing that we're trying to achieve with our designs is really to have a happy tenant, a happy building owner. Um, is exactly what we should be targeting.